hello welcome back to my channel so my cat is here as you can see so hopefully he'll be good um i just want to make another video long awaited because i've been planning on making this video forever sorry about my hair it always looks crazy about my 3ds collection oh my god i'm so sorry for my hair it's literally tragic right now oh my god yeah so here's my 3ds i have this isabel thing on right now and this is everything i've gotten since my last video like i don't want to put the same things in the video so i'm just going to show everything that i didn't talk about last time that i've got since then so i have some games but honestly I've not been playing my 3DS Litter at all because I got a Switch Lite, like, maybe last year, maybe the year before, I think it was last year, but I got a Switch Lite and I haven't been playing that either, but I did play that a lot more than the 3DS for a while. When I had time, I was playing that one instead. So yeah, you can see. Um, I'm just going to start off with this one because, oh, some of these have a case some not i got all these i'm pretty sure off ebay unless otherwise stated um this one i did talk about in my last video because this is talking my husband's game but um i have the legend of zelda majora's mask I'm just including it because it's part of like our joint collection and i don't know where this one's from probably ebay or something but yeah if i played the game i'll talk about it uh, let's see next this is just like a whatever game i got from a store near me it was only $8.99 this is batman 3 beyond gotham this is one of the lego ones um i only got this one because it was so cheap this was back when i was really into collecting 3ds games like i was buying them sort of frequently i was always looking and i really like batman my cat's trying to get him again I like Batman says, Heroes and villains unite to regain the powers of the Lantern Rings and save Earth from Brainiac. Which I never heard of Brainiac. Also, I did not like the new Batman movie, unfortunately. Sorry. It's a little dark for me. I like the other ones better with Christian Bale. But yeah, I've not tried this yet. I just got it because I thought it might be a little easy. Oh my god. My cat is literally acting crazy right now. Hey, everybody. Oh my god. Okay. Next, I have this mario party star rush um this is from ebay i believe it was like 20 dollars majora's mask i don't know how much it was and these were all before the e-shop closed so that's kind of why i got a bunch at once and yeah this is what it looks like um it's always your turn in mario party star rush master a new batch of mini games across a variety of new modes so i really like regular mario party um superstars whatever the one's called for the switch and i had the one before that i never played any other ones because i don't know i just if you saw my last video i never heard of a lot of games until like the past couple of years so yeah i got this one because there's this one and there's something island i did do some research and there was consensus that this one majority of people think was better than the other one that was on the 3ds i'm gonna say island tour or something um, I've not tried this yet, but I don't know. I just, I love Mario Party, but the new one only having five boards is really troubling to me. And they're all like recycled. Where's the new boards? You know what I mean? Like, where are the new boards? That's what I really need to know. So this next one, I've not tried yet either. I'm just going to talk a little bit about it because it's like a little bit of a different situation with this game. So this um is luigi's mansion not the dark moon one because i heard people say like that one is not very good i don't know why that one's way cheaper this was 40 dollars from ebay um it is still sealed as you can see it's wrapped completely i've not even opened it yet honestly i thought about reselling it but i don't think i will um because i do have the switch version and i just kind of felt like if i was gonna play i would play that one um if you watched my last video i'm not very good at games so I don't feel compelled to have multiple games that I'm not going to be good at. That says, it's back. The legendary haunted house returns. Luigi's still afraid of the dark. Are you? And basically this one, um, if you get the regular version, it's very expensive. I want to say like, when I bought this, it was maybe a hundred something dollars. 
crazy. I would never pay that. I thought about it for a game. I thought about paying that for games, but I'm glad I didn't. But this is the World Edition. I don't know what that means. It says UAE, Saudi Arabia. Oh my god, this is so small. And Malaysia, Singapore. I don't know, but like the back is all in English. And yeah, this game's based on Luigi's Mansion game for Nintendo GameCube and includes all new multiplayer modes. So does it even say World Edition on the front? I mean, it said it in the listing, but it was way cheaper and I did research on it and it, I believe you can still play this like normal. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe people are afraid of the World Edition not being the same. Um, Again, I'm not sure because I haven't played it because I played Luigi's Mansion on the Switch, which I didn't finish yet. Um, so, yeah. There's that one. And then, that's all my ones that I got with cases. These ones. So, I'm going to move on to the ones without cases. And I just want to touch on this really fast. Um, I did buy Pokemon X because I did research and it was determined that, that was a very good Pokemon game. Um, I have since sold it. So... Yeah, I just did not think I was going to play it and I was like really not playing my 3DS and I was like why do I have this game here if I'm not going to play it. My husband has another Pokemon game and I just figure like if I really am desperate for it I can get it in the future but I don't know whatever. This I don't think was in my last video. Um, this is Super Mario 3D Land which I believe I got for I want to say 20-ish dollars or something. Um, I did start playing this. I think I beat this. Almost. Yeah, I think I played all of this. Except for like near the last level. Um, yeah, pretty fun. Pretty good. I don't really care about having the case because I have like, if you watch my last video, but if not, I have this little pouch thing. And it just has my games in it. Um, so I just, I'm not going to pay way more for the case. My cat's already sitting near the door now. Like I'm impersonating him. The door's closed. But yeah, it's a little hot in here, but he's really afraid of the fan. Anyone else have a cat like that? I don't know. Um, oh, this Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. I'm just going to say I tried it and I was really so bad at it. I literally had to stop playing within like five minutes because I was about to start crying. Um, yeah. My husband's playing the new Zelda though, which I've got him for his birthday. So I'm trying to get him to help me with that one. Um, I just have my styluses in my little pouch as well. So let's see. What did I include last time? Mario Kart 7. It was in my last video. Happy Home Designer in my last video, and Super Mario Brothers 2 in my last video. Love this game. This is yeah, new Super Mario Brothers. Oh my god, I'm still on the floor. Okay, so let's discuss. Another random one that I got. Sonic Boom, Shadow Crystal. My husband told me that Sonic games, I know the new Sonic game is supposed to be really good, and the movie, um, I guess it was good, but I heard the new Sonic game is actually really good because the budget was a lot higher or something, but this one, I believe it was like under $10. So yeah, um, had not tried it. So this is just a collection. This is not like a review. Um, so yeah, I just figured it was so cheap. I just wanted to try it. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping it's not too bad. And then last of the physical games this video is going to be pretty shorter than my last one i guess because i'm not talking all about the 3ds but this one was i want to say um 30 dollars approximately this is pokemon super mystery dungeon i'm not sure if people are really like into this game um i have not heard a lot about it my husband said he thought that i would like it so that's why I got it pretty good. Um, I just want to say I did finish, I, I don't know if I said this in my last video, I did finish Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask and I did end up selling it um, just because I played through the whole thing so I kind of was like maybe someone else will enjoy it since I know I'm not going to play the, I'm not going to play it again. I'm so god awful bad at it but I did make it through. And then what else did I sell? Detective Pikachu because I played through that whole whole one and that's a pretty cheap game to find so I did sell that as well because again I played through the whole thing so I'm not gonna keep a game forever that like if I know I'm never gonna play it again because like those two games are pretty story games 
story base whatever I don't know what you call it but I just kind of thought I know the story I'm not gonna want to play like I'm not unless a book is like really spectacular on um, Twilight anyone I will not really read it again I won't play it again you know a story not other games but and then yeah so that and then I did also sell Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn because it literally got to a point where it was completely unplayable. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, it was just so hard. Like, I don't want to say hard. It was just, I don't know if there was a glitch or what, but it was like, I made it decently far in the game and then it was got to a point where it was like you literally were stuck. Like, there was no way you could even get past it. Um, and I had my husband try and he's really good at games and he couldn't even get past it and I was like, I, whatever. And I actually ended up selling it, they're going for a lot, um, cause I had the case too. I ended up selling it for twice what I paid for it. So, pretty good. I'm not like a scammer. I literally price based on, literally I just go on Mercari and whatever the other prices are, I'd literally just try and do like, as close to other people's price as possible, like lower, so I can just sell it. Cause I don't really like people kept trying to lowball me. I'm like, my mine is the lowest price one on here. Please no lowballs. Thank you. Okay, so last but not least, oh, in my 3ds and I have New Leaf, which I'm not playing because it was pissing me off. Because look, I don't even play New Horizons, but I want to show you guys maybe potentially an island tour. But I film on my phone, so I'd have to film it on my phone. But I don't know. I sold my original villagers and everything. I actually put many, I'm not, not like a thousand hours with you guys, but a lot of hours into my island. And I honestly don't play it just because I really like how my island looks. And I just don't feel like I need to go in and redo it, you know, like people do. I just am happy with it because I spent so much time on it. And yeah, um, so let's talk about what's on the 3DS. Let me, let me power up here for a sec. I want to change it back to the black ones, which, oh my god, horrible angle here. I have, like, sitting over here. Wow, this actually looks really pretty in this light, but I love this little thing. This is what it came with. But, yeah, so, um, I don't know how to get it away from here, but I have this really cute, um, Pokemon background, which I got, which I know I'm fake because I haven't played that much Pokemon, but, you know, I love little critters and they're pretty cute, so... I did buy that before the eShop closed. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the eShop literally closed way after I thought it was closing. So I quick like loaded money on and bought these games and the eShop like just closed not that long ago. Great, amazing. But I'm pretty happy I got these games. Um, the one I'll show is a little, let me drink my coffee really quick. I'm like losing it here. Ray done anyone but yeah the one is okay I'll discuss what the f like where are you taking me um I don't know if I touched on this in my last video but this game brunch panic I love this game it was only four dollars it's amazing I played the whole thing it's very um like diner dash I'm amazing at diner dash I'm a diner dash pro so yeah brunch panic very good I did get cooking tycoon for my switch and that was just god awful so brunch panic it is um but i beat it so all right let's talk about this style savvy fashion forward these i just have digital like i said i bought them on the eShop because if you look at prices for this game physical um i definitely prefer to have physical games just because i mean i'm not gonna lie like the resale value because in my mind, I always feel like it's better, like, to have- sorry, I'm putting my camera here at- I like having the option to resell something if I would like. Like, I'm not gonna resell this whole thing, you know? Like, I just wanna- if I don't like a game art, I'm not gonna play it. I already did play it, you know, then I can resell it. But I'm not paying a thousand dollars for a game. This one, maybe, I think was, like, a hundred. People were saying it was so good. So, it's pretty much you just- I've been playing this. This is what I've been playing lately. I've been playing, like, a smidgen, but I haven't had a lot of time. So, yeah. Just been playing this. And you better have, like, a boutique and you help people pick out clothes. Honestly, sometimes, lately, people do not be liking the clothes I pick. And I'm like, I literally gave you what you asked for. Why are you mad at me? And then they're like, I'm new to me. But, 
yeah so there's that and then there's the whole thing where you have like your own house with miniatures yeah i'm not into that so like half the game i feel like is almost like useless but this was 40 dollars and i think with the eShop closing they honestly could have done everyone a really nice little favor favor and made the prices a lot cheaper like half price everything or something just because you know people are not ever going to be able to buy it again so yeah that's why i only got two games um i do have the demo for like pokemon sun <laughs> i mean like i said there is a store near me um unless like there's always resellers and stuff and like it is possible to get the games you know in a physical copy sometimes you know there's always gonna be someone selling it i feel like okay so this i did talk about in my last video that i wanted to get in physical and i ended up not because it's too expensive but i did get professor lee in oh shoot, where did he go come back um professor layton and the osborne legacy um anyone excited for a professor layton and the new world of steam coming out for the switch because honestly i much prefer the switch having to play with the stylus i find very um just not as fun like i just thought the first switch was too big and then i got a switch light and i used to think the switch light was like why would i get that and then i got one which i want to make a video sort of like 3ds first the switch light just to talk about why i like the switch light better but i do honestly prefer playing on it unfortunately i have a lot of hours in um cozy grove right now and yeah i haven't been playing very much but i do enjoy playing um so yeah i got this one i have not touched it yet just because i'm trying I ha one i haven't had time two i was trying to play the mobile what is that Professor Layton MJ, Prof MJ, Mis Layton's Mystery Journey, that's what it's called, on mobile, because I did get Apple Arcade, so I could play Oregon Trail, and I made it to the Oregon Trail, let's just say that, um, but I found that mobile game so ridiculously hard, like, immediately, like, I found the Professor Layton games really hard, I find Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney ungodly hard i don't know if i'm i swear i'm not dumb it's just i'm so i'm not smart in the way that these puzzles are wanting me to be smart you know i'm smart in other ways um so yeah i got that 40 dollars yeah let's close her down here i need to get better at remembering to turn this thing off because i literally never do so yeah that is my video um i would like to make like i said a switch light first 3ds video and i want to do a switch collection because i do feel like i have um i do definitely have more switch games than i do 3ds games and i do prefer playing on the switch light just because i like the way it is and not having to do the stylus and everything i like how the games look a lot and yeah so that concludes my complete 3ds collection um i definitely would like to make more like i want to make an I don't for video and stuff, but some light gaming videos, but I definitely will try and make another video if I end up getting any more games, which I probably won't for a while, and I'm sure the prices are outrageous. I've not even looked since the eShop closed, so if anyone, I hate telling people to like leave a comment, but if anyone knows what the prices are like now, let me know, because I haven't even bothered. I hate going in a store, first of all, and people talking to me, um, yeah, but, yeah. So, I don't want to go in unless there's something really compelling and cheap. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching.